what is up guys it is mercifies here bringing you a video today of what we got and what we got is a brand new java tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to be going over the differences between arrays and array lists i'm going to be explaining uh, some key features of array lists and why you would want to use them over arrays so without further ado let's get started so in this first setup I have over here with the test and list class I uh, I'm just gonna go into it and show you that the test class is pretty basic setup all it has is a list class object and then I'm calling the compute method of the list class inside of list class uh, we have our default constructor which is empty and then we have the compute method down below in this compute method we have a array called array uh, it is an integer array and it contains the elements 0 through 9 adding up to a total of 10 elements and then down below that we have an array list being instantiated now first of all before we get started before I get any questions in the comments about why does this not work and why am I getting an error make sure that you guys are importing java.util you have to import java.util and then your asterisk because array lists are not included in the default java classes that you have access to arrays are but array lists are not you have to import them to use them so before you give me those questions of why am I getting this error make sure that you have java.util imported up above now we're going to look at the main differences between this array and the array list. So, one of the main differences, this array is instantiating the elements that it has inside. So even if I didn't have 0 through 9 included afterwards, the array would have a set number sp specifying how many elements would be inside of the array. Array lists do not have this this requirement. Array lists, you can have as many elements as you want or as few elements as you want, and you can change the amount of elements you have throughout your class. So with the array, if I just instantiated this normally, or if I wanted to remove the last three elements, I would still be stuck with these three elements. Now they could be zeros, they could be whatever number I want, but I would be stuck with three elements at the end. I could shorten it down, but I can't add any more. I can't add 10, 11, 12, and 13. I'm stuck with 10 elements inside of this array. The array list is different. The array list does not have a minimum or maximum number of elements I as I said before I can add as many as I want I can remove as many as I want and this is one of the key features that people love with arrays now another main difference that you probably have noticed is that you're going to be using angled brackets instead of your square brackets and the variable type is different now the variable types are essentially the same but they are spelled different why is this done uh, really I have no idea why it's done probably just to make a clear-cut difference between arrays and array lists so people know what uh, you know which one they are using obviously the angled brackets make sense but why are they using integer instead of int not quite sure why but if I were to use int in place instead of integer, it is going to throw me an error. So another thing, make sure you guys are using integer or double with a capital D rather than using your regular variable types. Another key difference is that you have to have parentheses at the end of your instantiation of the array list. Arrays do not have this requirement unless you're going to put a number in the element. So if I were going to create an array int r1 equals new int 8, it does not have any parentheses in that setup. So that is another key difference, and you will be using a lot of parentheses when using your array list. So 
let's go down below and check out what I'm doing with these for loops and the first for loop all I'm doing is adding every element of this array to my array list so it's pretty basic setup for int i equals zero i is less than array dot length i plus plus then we go to the body now may uh, another key difference that you'll notice right away is that we're using a method to add elements rather than just instantiating them with your regular equal sign so if I were going to add elements into my array from you know whatever an array list or something else it would be set up as array of i equals you know something else um, this is different from array list if you're going to add elements you need to use the add function the add method so you can't just instantiate them the normal way you have to add them so we use this we use this function we call our list dot add and then we call the element of the array whichever one I is on at the time in the bottom for loop it is also a basic setup all I'm doing is printing out the array list after I've just added all of those elements um, and it's a little bit different though in how it is written so for int I equals zero I is less than our list dot size and parentheses now why does an array list have size with parentheses array lists are going to be different in every regard because when you're calling array lists you are calling functions of that array list arrays are different because when you call something of an array you're calling a property properties do not have parentheses whereas functions do so I can't just call our our list dot length because that's not a property of the array list and for the same sense I can't call array dot size with the parentheses because that's not a function of the array so if you're going to call the length or the size of an array list you have to use the size method you have to include the parentheses so to finish up this for loop we just have i plus plus it's going to increment once each time through the for loop uh, down below inside the body we have system out dot print line our list dot get i uh, and i is inside parentheses again another key difference rather than having array square brackets of i we have to use another method so our list dot get will give you accessibility to whatever element is in that array list so rather than using the square brackets you have to use the get method so when we go up top and we compile this and print it out you'll just see that it is the number zero through nine printed out on each of their own lines just to show you that the theory of array lists is fairly simple it does the same functionality as arrays do but just a little bit differently another example and another key feature of arrays array lists excuse me is that I can use objects rather than variables as the type I will be accepting so in O class um, all I have is an integer num and that is a instance variable up top we then have our default constructor with a local variable int num and then we set our instance variable num to the local variable num down below we have a method called public int compute and all that method does is return our instance variable num so in the test class it's a little bit different so we set up our array list and instead of having integer we are accepting O class objects so again a key difference is that you can accept objects or create array lists of objects rather than just integers or other variable types so we set up that array list it is a blank array list and then in this for loop we are going to be adding new objects to that array list so for int i equals 0 i is less than 10 i plus plus 
every time we go through this for loop we are going to be adding a new object of the old class class um, and then it's going to be passing whatever I is whatever I is representing through this for loop to the O class and that will be the number represented by O class a little bit confusing but hopefully you guys can stay with me on this so if you're going to be adding objects to your array list all you have to do is have new in front of the object and then put in whatever is in the parentheses whatever the default constructor or the overridden constructors are accepting so we've added our objects to the array list now we're going to call them so rather than last time where I had a void method that would do it in the other class I had a variable type that returns a variable so for int i equals zero i is less than oc dot size remember it it's size not length i plus plus inside the body we have system out print line oc dot get i dot compute now notice how this is set up I'm calling oc I am then calling I'm using the get method to call the specific element of my array list so in the case of the first element I'm calling the first element of my array list O class 0 and then I'm calling the compute method of O class so this will have very similar results exactly the same results of the last method and it's going to print out 0 through 9 with a total of 10 elements now there are many more methods uh, that you can use with the array list you can clone stuff you can clear stuff you can add add all of a, spe a specific collection you can remove elements you can um, get the index of elements you can tell if an index is empty you can get the size you can set elements you can remove specific elements in a certain range you can do a whole bunch of things and I'm not going to go too in depth about it because I just want to make this a basic lesson so you guys can go and explore on your own so if you guys like this lesson this tutorial make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you like me and you want to get more Java tutorials out of me hit that favorite button if you know you're gonna come back and reference this video and if you had some problems or you really like this video make sure to comment below if you have any errors you have any questions comment below I will reply to them I do reply to them um, so go ahead and do it so guys I am Mercifies this is the only channel where shit hits the fan like motherfucking lightning and I'm fucking out <laughs>